All right, what's up guys? This is Chris from Trailbound. Today I want to give you a two month review of this 2017 250XC. months I'm at 49.3 hours so I'm out here cutting trail so I have my saw mount on it I'm just gonna go over some of the wear and tear that has happened to this bike just so you can see how it holds up I ride pretty pretty rough terrain a lot of bushwhacking a lot of rocky stuff I'm just trying to find the hardest stuff I can find to ride so this bike gets pretty beat up you know it's just part of it but bikes held up pretty well it's mainly cosmetics. Hopefully you can take some of this as tips for setting up your own bike to avoid some of the things that have happened to my bike. I've been having these issues with the, the shrouds cracking. I'm, I'm wondering if, if I would have put graphics on it, if that would have helped hold it together. Um, on this side, it's completely gone. So it usually comes out to here. The stock KTMs and these Acherbys ones, they take a beating, you know, they get pretty scratched up. And the other thing I was thinking that would help that I've seen some of my buddies run is instead of putting bolts here, they'll uh, go in and someone makes a bungee strap. I think it goes from here to here and that allows, you know, the panels to flex out when you when you're hitting the manzanita bush and the, you know, sharp really hard sticks uh, i found out recently the ktm shifter is uh really poorly designed they redesigned it it i was pretty skeptical of it because it's so thin looking but i didn't even realize that in the back the design of it is that they've got two little pins that hold it like this but as you can see here i snapped them off easily just by hitting a rock you know so i've been having to run a shifter level lever that's like really far forward i haven't been able to get a new one but the aftermarket ones are normal or like the older design so just pick up one of those put it on so you don't have to deal with this on the trail uh easy fix i've got the electron carb and the v-force reed kit i've heard about these bikes breaking the reeds on the 17s so i just went in and put the v-force in there just to make sure that i don't have any issues and right off the bat i put electron carb because these bikes are really hard to jet since they put the Makuni carb on them. They just don't run good. Um, so put Electron carb on there. It's a smart carb. It's really easy. Slavens will sell you the kit. Tune for your bike and with a, a throttle, longer throttle cable. So it's pretty easy to put all that on. And it, it makes your bike run a lot better. I did have to go in and adjust the metering rod. Um, one... I adjusted it one turn. I want to say clockwise. Um, the low end was bogging, and that's how you you fine tune it. And then there's this there's a top one here for the, and that's how you adjust the top end um, power. And I haven't I haven't messed with that, but I might turn it a little bit because it it was bogging. I recently just put in the the red spring on this thing. Someone on uh, Instagram told me when you put the red spring on it, turn this, turn this out until it's flush, um, the adjustment. And I, I used a screwdriver because I didn't have the special square tool and that worked all right. It's kind of dinging up the metal, but you know, I was in a pinch. When I put the red spring in it and pulled it out flush, it was, it was really bogging and it was taking a while to, to get in the power band. I was having a get, hard time getting in the power band on the tight stuff. So I went and turned it back into where it was stock with still with the red spring and now it's running a lot, a lot better. I like the, the pipiness of these bikes. Um, I control the power with the clutch. So I just want to be able to have that power on demand, that really responsive power. If I'm at a, at a certain spot and I need to get up a really rocky hill climb with no with no run up, then I just need that on demand power to, you know, get the RPMs up right away. I don't like the lugginess that's common in the 300 dirt bikes and also on the lower, the yellow and the blue spring. 
that kind of makes it lug more. I like I like a really responsive throttle. Pipes pipe has some dents in it. Not nothing too serious. Not as bad as my last bike. Um, I'm just gonna dent this thing up all the way, and then I'll put a. I'm thinking a factory fatty. That's what I had on my last bike. I like the the peppiness of it. People recommend the gnarly too for the more grunt, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Once I get that, I'll put a carbon fiber pipe protector on there. The TMD skid plate, I ran this on my last bike uh, for a year and it's been holding up great. And I also have the Moby. I didn't run this on my last bike and I didn't have a problem, but I figured I might as well just put it on. It's just a bolt-on accessory. Really simple and it makes, it's a really simple accessory and it makes uh, sliding over logs easier and less things to worry about if you hit it on rocks. Got the turbine core on here. It's a, I just needed a spark arrestor. I like this one because it's compact. Um, I don't I don't know what's the deal with the new FMF ones that everyone's running, the more expensive ones that are really big, like a four-stroke pipe. If you know what the difference is, let me know in the comments. But um, this this is running great. I've got the C Concepts um, gripper seat on it um, with the custom trail bound patch, and this is double stitch sewn on there. Really easy to do. Um, if you want to pick one up in our web store and sew it on, send it. I'm really happy with the seat. I like, I love having the grip for hill climbs. Uh, when you're sitting down and you need to get traction, it just keeps you up on the bike. I love the grippiness of the side of this for when you're pinching your bike, uh, relieve stress on your arms. So you pinch the bike and you're, you should be able to have a very loose, um, loose grip on the handlebars. And that's how you kind of avoid arm pump. Um, but I've already I've already torn it here, this rubber stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna patch that. I don't know how I'm gonna patch that to be honest, but yeah. I've also got another rip back here, unfortunately. I'm running the Acherby handguards. I've never I've never ran these Acherby handguards before, but I thought they looked pretty cool. They the design of it is that they've got these two bolts. Um, and these things have already slid down, as you can see here. It's slid this way, and I have to I have to either loosen it or yank it back. I don't know if that's a good design or a bad design. Um, maybe it's good that it just slides and I can move it back instead of breaking, you know? Um, it's plastic coating, but there's a metal interior bar, so this, this is held up good. They've pivoted a couple times, but you just slam them down and it's good to go. I don't have um, radiator guards on here yet, but I would really like to have those. Um, I know there's a common issue with this overflow tube. Um, my buddy Isaiah has snapped that off multiple times where he hit the radiator, it bent it back, and broke this off. There's a metal piece in here that this hose connects to. It's not a serious issue, but it is something you have to fix. This KTM Plastics, uh, I left the white on here. They've scraped up a ton. I don't know. I just just how it is, I guess. Um, lots of wear. Uh, I still want to switch my starter, uh, my starter here. I want to move that over to this side so that's easier to start with a little bit of throttle um, like that. But and then I'll move the off button over here, which is less of an issue. Um, that's how I had my old bike set up, and I, I really liked it. But that they have these little Phillips heads in here that are pretty. They, they're too tight and I was starting to strip it. So I gotta figure out how to unscrew that. Maybe put an Allen bolt in there instead. Yeah, this is my saw mount that I just built. Um, welded up. It's a pretty simple design. It's just a couple bars with some hooks and then these these hard bungees. Um, I've, got, I've got some other videos that I'm gonna put up about the saw mount, um, building it and all that. So look for that on the page. This bike is definitely lighter and I like that a lot. Um, it's easier to ride, feel it's easier to throw around and that's great. With the Electron Carb on there, I'm getting really good fuel mileage. I did a really rough uh, ride with Nate Delaney from DDC Sprockets. I went 65 miles of, you know, almost pure rocks, rock riding and, and I just hit reserve. So I could probably go 70 miles or so. And, and more if I'm uh, going easy on it and, and riding less tough terrain. 
other than that, the bike's been working good. It's just really, it's, it's just beat up. It just looks beat up, but you know, it runs great. So, time to get trail bound. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my bike. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and let me know, you know, what you what's your experiences with these 2017s and 2018 two-strokes. Um, so far, they've been, you know, running great. Mm -hmm.